I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an HP laptop. This one is an HP Pavilion 15-AC104 model. And in this video I'm going to show you guys how to replace the keyboard with the trackpad, everything, the whole palm rest, how you can replace it. I'll try to get the link in a video description. Here we bought a new trackpad and the keyboard on it. So we're going to replace the whole palm rest. So, and this applies for any 15-AC series. So it doesn't have to be exactly the 104 model. So if one of your keys are not working or anything like that, the easier way is to replace the whole palm rest. In, it comes with a keyboard because replacing a keyboard it really costs a lot of work because you have to melt down some plastic there are more than 50 hundred uh, rivets here that you have to cut down and place but if you buy the palm rest you just have to screw it in so i'm going to take you on a step by step how to do this process this laptop was open before so let's see if there's anything missing down there so what do we want to do right now first power it off remove the battery first at the back remove it remove the rubber legs at the back it just has an adhesive just lift them up because there's a hidden screws in there grab your opening tool and a screwdriver set i'm going to be using an ifix screwdriver set with a phillips number zero number one you can get the pro version which will include you with an opening tools or you can simply go and grab a guitar pick and metallic guitar picks are really suitable to putting covers and electronics well we're going to start removing all the screws at the bottom cover all right and then we want to slide out the dvd drive pulling it out the two screws under the battery don't forget now we're going to open up the screen a little bit and we're going to grab our opening tool where was it and we want to stick it between the top and the bottom cover and just about one or two millimeters and we're just going to twist it and we're going to work around all the way in the front side go all the way to the back corner to the left and right side And I am missing, I forgot one screw here, so double check your screws, make sure you removed all of them. Once you remove all the screws, you can close it down, put your finger right at the hinge so and pull up from the DVD drive upward a little bit and do the front side. And they did put a, this label here and there's a screw right in the middle. So don't forget the screw in the middle. Some people put a sticker to hide the screw. For the warranty, just lift it up, bring it towards the USB port and remove it. All right, down here, we got the, they did open it up and they did modify the fan system in here. This fan is not for this one. So I see it. they just fixed it up. So we need to remove the whole motherboard and to replace it with a and this is a flex cable for the keyboard so this is the one first let's go ahead and start up by removing everything all the speakers everything must come out so remove the screw for this usb port right here and remove the four screws for the hard drive caddy There's uh, three screws for the caddy. This one goes from the top casing. And whoever opened this one, they did use a different size of screws here. The screw should be the same Phillips number one, but they put a different screws, I guess. All right. Once you remove the caddy, lift it up, unhook it from the board, just lift up this lock and slide it out. All right. Now we remove this one, lift it up, bring it up. Un unhook it from here put it to one side the speaker just lift them up gently move out the cables untangle them zigzagging them all right and now pull up the jack and 
We need to remove this adapter for the DVD drive. There's one screw in the middle. Unhook it, remove, lift it up, put it to one side. Remove the Wi Fi by removing one screw on the Wi Fi here. You don't need to remove, you can just leave it in here, nothing's gonna happen. Remove the flex cable for the LCD, pushing it from the sides. My finger right here, and that one I'm pushing with a screwdriver. Remove the power jack it's straight, untangle them from here. Okay, uh, we are gonna remove the whole motherboard. First, remove the keyboard flexor right here. Untie, remove that one. Remove the trackpad right there. And go ahead and remove the screws for the motherboard. There's a tiny arrows. They indicate where they go. All right, remove the two screws for the fan, one on the top and one on the bottom of the fan. All right, I'm gonna disconnect the fan, pulling up the jack backward. Remove the on off switch right there. Okay, and uh, the motherboard should come out pretty easy. So lift up the motherboard and put it to one side. We want to remove the track, the this on off switch here. So remove two screws for here. Remove the trackpad cable right there. And bring it up, put it back. We gotta remove the hinge screws. There are two screws on here and three on here. So they put a glue in here, super glue. This one here, we're gonna break that one anyway. So remove two on this side. Okay, lift up the hinges upward. This one, it is really glued in. So let's get a screwdriver and break the glue right there. And open the hinge, remove the power jack, just unhook it right there, there's a tiny hook. Remove the power jack. We need to remove the on-off switch right there. There's one screw holding the on-off switch. And just lift it up. Put it to one side. Now we can grab the palm rest and just scoop it out, remove it from there. And there's no more anything else in here that we need. Grab the new palm rest. Bring it the same way that you scooped out. Scoop it back in place. Okay. Put the on off switch. Put the tiny screw for the on off switch right there. Put the power jack. Just smack it right in there. And we are gonna leave it like that. This one has a little broken. Okay. So let's go ahead and close this side first. Make sure it aligns, put the three screws for this end. Put the trackpad. Slide it right in place. You can use a tweezers. To bring them in place. 
uh, lock it there. Put the two screws for the this switch right this board right there. Bring the sideboard, the USB board right there. Put a single screw for this one. Put this one right here in the middle. The speakers goes right on top here. You put the speakers and everything is ready to be set. The hard drive, you're going to put it in a bit. Grab the motherboard, bring it over, align it, just sit it down gently. Okay. Put the flex cable for the extension for the USB, the flex cable for the this part. All right, next we're going to attach the on off switch cable right there and lock it down. We're going to put the fan right on top. We're going to attach the fan to the jack right there. Okay. Now let's go ahead and put the two screws for the fan to keep them in place. Once we got this one in there, now we can go ahead and uh, let's put the, this screw right on this side. Goes over the hinge, I believe. And the fan goes over the hinge too. Yes, so this fan has to go, we have to put down the hinge first and then put the fan over the hinge or it looks like it this way. I don't know if they had this one like this. Yes, it's like this. So the hinge has to be on top. So put the two screws for it. Otherwise it will not be leveled right here. So bring the power jack, slide it evenly through the contact right there. Put the screws for the motherboard, it's starting from one corner by the battery. Right there and put this corner one. Go all around. There should be a battery screw right there, but there's an arrow right there. So I don't see it. So I'm going to put this one right there. All right. Next, we want to put the two screws for the hinges right here. One in the corner. And the one right in here. Okay. Next is to run the cables for the LCD. Just bring it around. Work your way through. And bring it evenly into the jack. Okay. Run the Wi-Fi cable in the same place. You know what? Yep. So be careful with the cables. You don't want them pinch them too much. There's not much space to work here. So there's a tiny hook right there. First plug it in there. Uh, put the tiny screw for the Wi-Fi. And this connector has to be right there. Squeeze it right in there. It doesn't come out. You can go in between the cable so it keeps it in place. Right there. Okay, once we got this one set, we're going to put this uh, DVD drive cable adapter right in there. Plug in the speaker cables. It just slides right through. Grab the hard drive, bring it in, attach, place it, 
put the three screws for the hard drive. Okay, now once we are finished here, I forgot to mention that uh, don't forget to connect the new keyboard flexor, make sure it stays out. You want to bring it evenly inside the connector and just squeeze it right through and make sure it goes evenly through here. Has to go in a 45 degree angle and all the way toward inside the jack. And once it's in there, just put it on top and that's it. You're finished. And once you put there everything, double check all the cables, make sure they don't get pinched in between anywhere, run them nicely. These cables right in here. And then we should be set to go. We're just gonna grab the top part. Bring it over, align it. First, scoop down this side. The I also have a HDMI is in a 45 degree angle. This side down, press it really hard to it clicks in. Press the front end, go to the side, towards the back. By the battery, click this, snap in these clips. Now, you wanna put the front end screw a little bit. And this is pretty much it. Now you gotta just put the bottom screws in the front side and that should cover everything up. Now, if you see any gap opening on the uh, palm rest and the bottom cover, you just wanna pinch them. I'm gonna show it to you guys right now. So let me put the screws in quickly. So we put the screws, so I'm gonna put the DVD drive right there. You're gonna open up, so you see these gaps right here? There's a big gap for opening, so I'm just gonna pinch them together. And you're gonna hear this clicking, and that's what you wanna hear. You're gonna do all around to the back corner by the battery, and that's it pretty much. Now you're gonna go back down here and finish up with the screws on the bottom cover. I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out. If you did, please click that like button and think about subscribing to support the channel. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a the video comment and I always try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.